Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another uh, video. Uh, this one is troubleshooting MQTT. All right, so initially, you know, when setting up MQTT, it's kind of tough to get everything synced up correctly. It doesn't always want to work the way you want it to. Uh, one side might work, but the other side doesn't, and it can really get frustrating quickly. Um, so hopefully this video will kind of help give you some ideas and a better understanding of how MQTT works and uh, some tips on how you could kind of watch that traffic and make sure that both ends are listening and responding correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick rundown of what we're going to cover in this video. Uh, so, so I'm going to show you how to use the Mosquito Client. Uh, so uh, in order to do that, we'll install those real quick if you don't already have them installed. Once we get that installed, I'm just going to show you how to subscribe to your um, MQTT topics uh, on a couple of different switches there, and we'll watch that traffic. Once we do that, I'll show you how to publish to a couple of MQTT topics, uh, and we'll watch that traffic as well. So let's get started. So for starters, of course, uh, like I said, if you don't already have uh, the Mosquito Clients installed, uh, which would include the uh, ability to subscribe to topics and publish to topics, uh, in order to do that, it's pretty simple. We'll just do a sudo apt-get install mosquito-clients. I already have mine installed, so it should go pretty quick. Now that we have those installed, uh, let's go ahead and go through our first example of subscribing to a topic. All right, so I don't have a whole lot of MQTT devices, so usually when I'm uh, trying to monitor the traffic on that, I'll just subscribe to all topics. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. Obviously, if you have a whole bunch of MQTT devices, then that can get uh, pretty out of hand. Uh, so. It's really up to you. You can subscribe to a specific topic that you're looking for if that's what you want to do or like me, just subscribe to all of them and watch all that traffic pass through. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, we use a command called mosquito underscore sub uh, dash U and then you put the MQTT username dash capital P and then your MQTT password uh, dash T and then this is where you're going to put your topic in parentheses. If you're going to do all topics, then you're just going to put a, a pound symbol. And then, of course, dash V at the end means verbose. So, of course, as you can see here, uh, all of the uh, topics that are currently already uh, listed there. Um, and I also have my um, SmartThings app that I have pulled up here, as well as uh, Home Assistant. We're going to be kind of playing around with my uh, living room ceiling fan. So, of course, uh, we'll kind of turn things on and off and watch that traffic pass through. So, I usually start by turning it off in uh, Smart Things. So, I'm going to hit that uh, off button here. And as you can see, uh, the traffic came across uh, our uh, sub subscription here as well as it turned it off in Home Assistant. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on in Home Assistant. And as you can see, uh, the topics came across in our subscription as well as it turned on. Let's go ahead and turn it back off in Home Assistant. And there it goes, it's off again. And lastly, I'm gonna turn that on in uh, the SmartThings app. So just a thing to note, obviously uh, MQTT topics are case sensitive. So obviously if you're seeing a lot of one-sided uh, traffic, uh, maybe you're able to turn it on or turn it off on one side, but the other side's not working. Uh, it's usually gonna be something to do with the case of your topic, either your, uh, your command topic or your state topic. Uh, because you may have it spelt right for the state, so you can monitor the state of it, uh, but the command topic may not line up correctly, so you can't turn it on or off. So just something you need to make sure you think about um, if you're running into issues. And that's why mosquito uh, underscore sub is such a great command, because you can monitor all that traffic and see which side and, uh, is doing what and what's going on there.
So uh, if you're not using smart things or you're just using a regular uh, MQTT switch like a uh, like a Sonoff running Tasmoda, then here's another example using that switch as well just to kind of give you an idea um, how that would work. So again, we're going to do that same uh, subscription command. I just uh, subscribe to all topics. And here I got uh, my uh, Sonoff switch here as well as uh, the light in Home Assistant. I'm going to play around with my office light here. So we'll start by turning that light on with the uh, Sonoff. And of course it gave it a little, bit of, a little bit of time there, but it did finally pop up and turned on in Home Assistant as well. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off in Home Assistant. And there it goes, everything turned off and you saw that the off come across the subscription as well. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it back on in Home Assistant. Fans came across and of course a little bit of a delay but it did finally come back on. And then lastly we're going to turn it off one last time on uh, our Sonoff web page. You should see that, yep, everything came across and turned it back off as well. So that's uh, kind of just how you use that uh, mosquito underscore sub command. Not really difficult. Let's go ahead and move on to the next example and we're going to take a look at how to publish topics. So for the most part, it's pretty similar to the uh, mosquito underscore sub command, except now we're using uh, pub. So mosquito underscore pub dash u is the username dash capital p is the password dash t is the topic we're going to be uh subscribing to or publishing to i guess and then dash m will be the uh you know the state that we want to change the command we're trying to send so for this we're like i said we're going to play around with a uh, living room fan again this is a smart thing switch so I'm going to tell it to turn off, and as you can see in both Home Assistant and Smart Things, it did shut off. And then we're going to do the same thing and turn it back on again. And there, it turned it right back on. So that that is definitely all you got to do as far as that publish command goes. Pretty simple to use, and you can test everything and make sure everything is responding correctly. Let's do one more. We're going to do it again, uh, that publish command with the Sonoff switch. So we're, we'll use that same command and we will uh, publish it to the, uh, the Sonoff command topic. And of course, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. So the dash M. Turn that on. And of course everything turned on there. And let's do it one more time. We're going to turn it off. And everything shot back off. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, pretty easy to follow. Just been getting a lot of uh, questions about MQTT lately and how things have only been working on one side or the other side. So I wanted to uh, post this video and kind of help you guys out if you're uh, trying to troubleshoot that because I know how much of a pain it can be. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick rundown of everything we covered one more time. Uh, like I said, I showed you how to install the Mosquito clients. Uh, you don't have to use Mosquito uh, broker in order to use a Mosquito client. It will function with any MQTT broker. It is uh, great to use in order to be able to subscribe to those topics as well as publish to them. Uh, once the install is done, then like I said, we're going to do a couple of subscribe topic examples. So we'll be using uh, Mosquito underscore sub. So we did a couple of those examples. And then after those, we did a couple of publish examples. So using mosquito underscore pub. Like I said, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope this video will help you with any MQTT issues that you are having. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, 
hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.